In this video, I'm going to go over a trick for memorizing the signs of your trig functions. It's very, very helpful to know in what quadrant which trig functions are positive, which ones are negative. All right, we are going to use a mnemonic device for this. All right, and this is not a mnemonic device that I created. Many, many math teachers use this. It's just a real common one, so I just thought I'd make a video on how, explaining how to do it and what it is. Um, we are only going to use this mnemonic device to memorize where the trig functions are positive, because obviously if these are the only two that are positive in the second quadrant, then that would mean all the other ones have to be negative. So the mnemonic device is all students take calculus. All right, may not be a true statement, but at least it's something that's very easy to remember here. All students take calculus. Each one of those letters correspond to uh, going counterclockwise around our coordinate plane, which is the way we number our quadrants anyway. All students take calculus, okay? So as long as you can remember those four, then we're good to go here. The A stands for all functions are positive, all right? So all of your trig functions in the first quadrant are positive. Okay, the sine, sine corresponds kind of to me, I think sine and cosecant kind of go together. So you've got to remember the S here stands for sine and cosecant. And in the second quadrant, those are the only two that are positive. That means all other trig functions in the second quadrant are negative. Okay, but we're just going to memorize the positive ones. In the third quadrant, tangent, and to me cotangent goes with that. So tangent, cotangent are positive. Those are the only two that are positive in this third quadrant. All other ones are negative. And then in the last one, the C for calculus stands for cosine. And to me, what goes with it, secant, cosine, secant. Those are the only two that are positive in the fourth quadrant. All other trig values are negative. Okay, so just a real short video um, showing you this all students take calculus easy way to memorize the signs of your trig functions in each of the quadrants. Definitely thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.